In this video, I'm going to be answering the question, what is meningitis, as well as some tips and tools you can use to protect yourself and not get it. Now, before we begin, down below, you'll notice there's a link where I'm giving away a free report and video-based guide on shopping for various different types of dietary supplements, as well as tips on using them. Now, I think we all can agree that the human brain is, well, kind of important, and you really should take steps to protect it, like wearing a helmet. Riding a, bike, riding a motorbike and everything. Now, the human body has already recognized how important it is and has taken steps to protect it. For example, uh, like with the human skull. Now, apart from that, there's actually a fluid that protects this, uh, your brain as well as your spinal cord. Now, when you move around, the fluid protects it. Now, a second layer of defense known as the membrane are men and meninges you probably see a little bit of a connection here <laughs> now if this membrane becomes inflamed or swollen then this creates meningitis now there are a few re different reasons this can happen but a major one has to do with the pesky little germ most likely a virus but it could be a bacteria that gets inside this membrane and the human body responds by making it inflamed just that the that's how it tries to heal things. Um, that's why when you have a swollen ankle, it becomes inflamed. It's the redness with the pimple, even the pain with arthritis. All inflammation. It's good, but there's a dark side to it. It does cause some problems. Now, if it's a virus, then this is known as viral meningitis. Now, the chance of someone getting this whole problem really depends on how strong someone's immune system is. And this is, well, if your immune system is very strong, then there's a very low chance of you getting it because, well, it's going to obliterate any bacterial virus that manages to get inside. It doesn't reach that part, which is kind of sensitive. Now, since the ailment affects the brain and nervous system, one of the most common symptoms is feeling kind of confused, maybe loss of short-term memory, some, some head pain, almost like someone might be intoxicated. Someone could experience pain in the neck, even the back area, and even some discomfort when looking at bright light and sunshine. Now, as the body tries to heal from this problem, they might be, you know, it might bring about like some symptoms like a fever, nausea, um, even feeling very fatigued. Now, apart from some annoying side effects, the, the real danger with this whole ailment is some long-term consequences because it's, it's affecting a sensitive area of your health. These permanent damages could be like hearing loss, loss of critical thinking, memory skills, and the list can kind of continue. That's the real danger. Luckily, you know, these permanent damages are pretty rare, but it's still a threat um, that someone should be definitely recognized and be aware of. The best way to deal with the meningitis, not get it, is to practice really good hygiene. And this means some simple steps like washing your hands and not touching your face because your hands are tacky services to pesky germs, and your face was a weak link in your defense system. Also, of course, get lots of rest, drink plenty of fluids, definitely helps. And apart from these, I do strongly recommend like a good multivitamin. Some people think that, oh, well, multivitamins, you don't need them, just eat a balanced diet. But the reality of the situation is our food simply doesn't have a nutritional value like it used to. There's a lot of reasons for this, but I'm going to throw out one, and that's so soil depletion. It has to do with farmers. They go, okay, I'm going to use these chemicals to grow plants quicker and make them fight off, you know, annoying bugs that can harm them, which helps them make money, but it kind of hurts the nutritional value of a lot of plants. So that's one big reason. And the fact is, well, it's not worth the risk to become deficient in one vitamin. It can really whack you and make you, make you unhealthy. Plus, there's a lot of herbs out there that can really boost your immune system and make it like a strong fortress. And like I talked about earlier, I did create this whole report and video guide about shopping for supplements and herbs. And before you go out there and uh, buy a whole bunch, it's good to know that the industry is pretty unregulated. And in a nutshell, that means uh, it's easy for companies to make some crappy products. So there's some things you should be aware of. And that's the goal of the whole video guide and report that I made. 
and it goes over some alternative medicines as well, as well as what to take for skin care and weight loss and a bunch of other cool stuff. And it's free, so why not check it, check it out? You can do that by simply clicking on the link right below the video that I did make for you. I really do appreciate your time. I, I appreciate your feedback too. Uh, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day and take care of yourself. Bye for now.